Hello everybody and welcome to my 52nd VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to include pictures on your user forms. So here I've got a blank user form and all I'm going to do is just add on an image that I've already downloaded. So to add an image to your form, just go to the picture property in here, click on this little button and then in your uh, in your open screen here just select the picture that you want to load in. So I'm loading in this picture with some gears and a uh, little background and then as you'll notice it just drops in on the background of my picture. Now at the moment it's put it in as a clip so when you shrink down it's going to clip it off and when you get too big it's not going to fill up the entire user form sometimes you want to change this and you want to put it as either you want to switch the alignment of it with the picture alignment uh, or you want to change it so that it stretches which makes it fill the whole thing no matter what size you have it or you want it to zoom which means it goes to the edges but still keeps the same aspect ratio. Uh, you can also you can still set a color to the background color drop so if we set say a blue or maybe a different blue that matches a bit more um, and then when you've got those gaps it's not going to look overly out of place as much. Um, and then another thing you can do is you can actually duplicate it you can tie all the picture so if we put true here you can it, and then you'll see that it's duplicating itself over and over again uh, this can be quite handy with say if you want a gradient across your across your screen so if I change um, the picture that I've got to uh, I want to change it to this gradient ping image but in order to do that I need to change it into a JPEG so let's just open that up with paint and then save as JPEG okay and then go back into here and then we're able to load this image in. So you'll notice that this image is only one pixel high and then 250 across. So it's filling it all the way across. And then when I change this to true, it's going to tile it and it's going to make it drop down across the whole thing. So it's repeating itself over and over again. So this is really useful when you want to have a gradient in there, but you don't want to have an image that's really big so this will go down as much as you like and it's still only going to take up as much memory as what a uh, picture that's one pixel fix so that's really useful uh, the only other thing is if you want to add a picture on top of your background then uh, we want to be able to view our toolbox and then you go to this image button select an area and then similarly the properties are exactly the same so we just go to our picture select it open it up and then just have that on there and then you can just position it exactly how you want so let's highlight that down there and there we have it that's how you use pictures to create backgrounds or to just have on your user forms uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do different user form events. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.